Well, it was a nice break from the chilly air that we have been experiencing over the past few days. Today it was very nice for us as we saw more of the 60s for afternoon highs and uh, one last gasp of summer, I guess. Six days until the official end of summer and uh, fall will begin on September the 22nd at 10 29 p.m. But today plenty of sunshine with clouds staying to our north and also well off to our south. But uh, clouds will continue to increase and come in from the north as we head into the overnight and that will increase our rain chances as we go into tomorrow and maybe even late tonight, waking up early tomorrow morning. But uh, for the most part, we're going to see a mostly clear sky, especially as we head into the early evening, and that will allow temperatures to drop off more into the mid to lower 40s. Right now, we are uh, in the 60s, 64 degrees. West winds a little breezy at 13 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and take a check at, uh, at our temperatures, though, as we are at 64 in Marquette. Off to the west, temperatures are mostly in the 60s, too, only in the lower 60s. At Ontonagon at 60 degrees, 66 in Ironwood, 66 also for in Crystal Falls, 62 in Houghton, and for us off to the east, more of the lower 60s, 60 in Munising, 66 in Escanaba, and at 64 in Ishpeming. Winds coming in from the west at a decent clip, 13 for us into Iron Mountain, 17 back into Ironwood, and at 21 in Houghton. And as we take a look across the entire state, we're seeing more of the 60s and the 50s farther south, 59 actually in Gaylord, 63 in Traverse City, and at 60 degrees on the dot in Manistee. But let's go ahead and talk about the headlines because we are expecting the clouds to move in throughout the overnight and that will bring rain chances as we make our way into Wednesday and very small chances They're only around maybe 20 to 30 percent and only light showers and that should push off to the south very quickly as we go into Wednesday evening and by tomorrow night it will look to be very clear yet again allowing temperatures really to drop off and we might be looking out for more patchy frosts across the UP but reinforcing cold shot will come in behind that disturbance and we'll see cooler air on the way for us also by Thursday before a warm up comes in by Friday but let's go ahead and take a look at the setup as we do have this cooler air making its way southward with the cold front and that's going to bring a small chance of showers as we go throughout the day on Wednesday and as we take a look at Wednesday's forecast well cold front continues to sink its way southward and we'll have those spotty showers around and get out of here very quickly by tomorrow evening it looks like it should all be out of here but the wind direction mostly from the west and the southwest will begin to change as we have this disturbance coming in look at that a few areas of blue showing up on the map but that's going to be well to our north here into Canada uh, the cooler air will continue to sink its way southward though there goes a the small chance of rain throughout the afternoon tomorrow and then that colder air arrives tomorrow evening and going into tomorrow night for tonight though we'll be at 42 degrees a little chilly out there clouds will begin to enter and for us by wednesday northeast winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour bringing us a isolated rain chance with the cold front highs in the lower 50s as that cool air will make its presence known earlier here into the northern portions of the viewing area 50 degrees in loss 58 in ontonagon and the farther south you go you get to hold on to the warmth for just a little while longer 65 in iron mountain and at 63 in escanaba for our seven day forecast uh, 57 degrees for a high on wednesday with the 20 percent chance of showers more sun on the way on thursday but only a high of 54 before things warm up yet again Friday and heading into the weekend with our next disturbance coming in. Highs back in the upper 60s and lows in the 50s.